you guys have to look at this recent TikTok story within the context of a incredibly troubling bipartisan red baiting push. The Biden administration is as guilty as anyone, frankly, in this. So are Democrats like Chuck Schumer, whose pet project with the semiconductor bill uh, had he'd been working on it for a long period of time. And look, I'm super in favor of the United States uh, onshoring its manufacturing and bringing some jobs back here. I'm not in favor of only seeing your ability to pass it through the context of uh, the cynical context of uh, being hawkish on China, which is exactly what Schumer did. It's exactly what Biden did when he signed it, feeding into the xenophobia, specifically from the right. Plus, Biden reopening all of these military bases in the Philippines, doing these uh, deals with Australia so there's more military capacity for the United States on uh, along China's borders. This is a real aggressive ramp up in order to use the United States' status as an empire uh, and military might in order to ramp up this uh, rivalry. And I fear it's going to have extreme consequences. It will. I mean, this stuff always has, it, yes. it always leads to jing- or, uh, xenophobia uh, among the population. It's going to create more of that. Absolutely. It will, especially when you have Biden's partisan support of this, like, and, and that's going to be like the main, I, I, well, Fox is already running with it. Yeah. And then like, here is representative uh, Kathy McMorris Rogers with the TikTok CEO who was brought in front of Congress, his name is uh, Xu uh, Zichu, speaking about, and, and again, this is feeding into larger just xenophobia about Asian people, and it's going to come home domestically. It already has. Um, trying to feed into the xenophobia about the Chinese government having investments in TikTok. As, that, as if that is so much worse than like the United States' incredibly friendly relationship with telecommunications companies, big tech, where our data is just passed back and forth, like spit in a makeout between the government and these companies. But apparently it's China, China, that's on the wrong side of this. Elon Musk bought uh, Twitter with funding, not only from the big banks, but uh, Saudi and Israel. Mm. And they love Elon. Elon freed Twitter, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's called free market. That's called free market. And can you say with 100% certainty that ByteDance or the CCP cannot use your company or its divisions to heed content to promote pro-CCP messages for an act of aggression against Taiwan? We do not promote or remove content at the request of the the Chinese government. The question is, is, are you 100% certain that they cannot use your company? to promote such messages. It is our commitment to this committee and all our users that we will keep this free from any manipulation by any government. If you can't say 100% certain, I take that as a no. As I previously referenced, TikTok spied on American journalists. Can you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteDance nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with similar surveillance techniques? Chair Rogers, I first of all disagree with the characterization that is spying. Um, it was an internal investigation. Yes on, or no? Can you do surveillance of other Americans? We, we will protect the U.S. user data and fire it all from all unwanted foreign access. It's a commitment that we've given to the committee. So, so I guess my question is: Are can I want you to? I wanted to hear you say with 100% certainty that neither ByteNess nor TikTok employees can target other Americans with civ- similar surveillance techniques as you did with the journalist. Again, I, I don't disagree with the characterization, characterization is surveillance, and we have given our commitments, Chair Rogers, the four commitments. I think it's our commitment that we will not be influenced by any government on these issues. DO, DOJ is investigating this, this surveillance right now. To the American people watching today, oh God, hear this, TikTok is a weapon by the Chinese Communist Party to spy on you, <laughs> manipulate what you see, and exploit for future generations. Mm, yes. A ban is only a short-term way to address TikTok, and a data privacy bill is the only way to stop TikTok from ever happening again in the United uh, States. Again, like- I yield- what what about TikTok the TikTok from ever happening again? Yeah. yeah. She she cannot never be- again. Hashtag never again will you be doing the gritty uh on TikTok. Never again. It's for the communist Muck bitch. Video. Let, let's be very clear. The commitment she wants Zichu to make about TikTok, she cannot make about Meta or no. or, or Twitter. You, uh, because- or the phones where point. you have TikTok on it, like Apple, where there's also a close relationship with the United States government. Yeah. Go on. Like no, that's the thing, is like like they they the 
the reason you focus so much on the sort of jingoistic anti-China thing, and like I don't discount the idea that China would be doing this because this sure. is what governments do with these sorts of things, but the co- the the answer isn't a specific sort of emergency effort against the the sort of dastardly Chinese app. It's a broad protection of people's privacy from these sorts of apps generally. So like not only like so like they can't buy on TikTok, but okay, like say we ban TikTok, what are they going to do? Just buy all that shit that's on the secondhand spy market like from meta yeah like that that's uh, like replace it with the shen yun app to challenge the Ch- china before Congress, uh, <laughs> party right uh, that's, it's, that's what they want yeah. no well, i mean amazon, it's just such a- amazon just uh uh i think it was earlier this year um uh, uh, admitted that they basically uh about a dozen uh pieces of footage from ring cameras were handed over to law enforcement without informing the the owner of that ring camera that they handed over that data to law enforcement i mean i don't see uh that uh, a breach of privacy uh being discussed and that's a much bigger breach of privacy than willingly using an app and knowing that you're uploading your, your your content there for people to see um this is you know this every single one of there should be a sweeping obviously uh uh privacy law that addresses these companies social media companies as a whole that doesn't solely in in internet companies as a whole i should say uh and that doesn't solely target one specific app for the reason of its perceived connection Mm -hmm. to china it's just such a you know I, i have to agree with the representative from tiktok even though i don't agree with their platform oh you know overall not for the reasons uh characterized in this particular questioning but he you know of course he can't make that promise and i don't know if that congressperson just doesn't know how like websites function not just social media websites but just like every website functions but they're all stealing your data you know calling it surveillance is you know true but then you kind of have to admit that we're all being surveilled by you know facebook and twitter and you know your movie pass app and your google maps and that's how you know we they knew who was exposed to the covid pandemic and it's just it's just the trade-offs that we have made to be so plugged into this app based you know digital world and the our lawmakers only highlight it ever so often because the overall problematic nature of a lot of these things is evident once you realize that like yeah you know if you aren't paying for the website and sometimes even if you are like on twitter for like twitter blue you're you're the product you know you're what people are buying your data your eyeballs your attention is what people are buying and convincing yourself otherwise again is not very helpful um you know and also if you acknowledge that this is what these apps do which is like take your data run social experiments on you sell your data it starts to raise really interesting questions about the age limit for a lot of these apps like should children be on social media should children be on apps that exist solely to capture their data and information in a sort of like social experiment type of way that would otherwise require like parental sign off probably not you know maybe they shouldn't be on social media apps for just that particular reason but you know we've allowed our entire economy to be monetized this way so you kind of just yeah if you know if the chinese government is using it to spread propaganda they probably should be because everyone else is you mm-hmm. know and not just not just governments companies they're all like trying to roll your attention span and get you to be a better consumer better consumer of propaganda better consumer of pepsi products better consumer of you know anything yeah these guys these okay. th- these guys were literally out there just a few weeks ago thanking elon musk and matt taibbi and that schellenberg guy for sharing private communications that were made between employees of twitter i mean you gotta be they, kidding me you gotta be kidding they me. Hold- they haul Mark Zuckerberg into Congress on what feels like a biannual basis to ask him why Facebook is doing things that it's not allowed to do. And at the end of all of those like congressional, I guess just before Meta, <laughs> before Meta, like and he burned $80 billion or whatever. But and at the end of all those congressional meetings or hearings or whatever, with him being like, you know, chewed up like the wad of, you know, flavorless gum he seems to resemble sometimes. <laughs> it's, you know, He's juicy no one fruit, ever chewed up juicy fruit. No one ever puts two and two together that like maybe Facebook is only profitable when it breaks the rules. Maybe these aren't like externalities of their functions when he's capturing too much data or they're selling it to the quote unquote wrong people. Maybe this is just the economy of social media and it's the only way it can function. So, you know, at a certain point, like, yeah, maybe it will have to become a free speech platform because if it's not allowed to steal and sell your data to people who think it's meaningful, then <laughs> it won't be able to support itself. You know, it's just, it'll, it'll be taking more tax dollars in. 
Reminds me of this uh, Stuart Lee joke from 10 years ago. I hate Twitter. It's like state surveillance agency staffed by gullible volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, and that's just like larger critique about social media and hey if you want to stay off of it go good for you but let's not pretend like there's a massive difference between these uh social media platforms just because one comes out of china you're feeding into racism yeah, that's what no. you're doing and like um this is just a this is a, every conservative critique of like uh a, any corporation right it's always about the bad corporation and as long as we made it in our image it would be good as opposed to like systemic critique about the way society and capitalism is structured overall i mean yeah this is like and and, and you know just to like both sides a little bit this is like kind of why uh and while like i, I don't d downplay like the idea that state powers intervene in our politics like the russia gate thing was too hyper focused on russia when you should talk about oh we should need to be uh, reducing foreign influence on our elections entirely like democratic majority israel. for israel should get the Sorry, fuck out of yeah. here yeah yeah like um and in uh, the saudis like and and uh, even fucking uh, Erdogan, like like th this sort of thing is a problem. But when you focus it too narrowly, it's because it's a political project to, that is probably going to lead to like greater defense spending. <laughs> uh, and also hate crimes domestically towards right. Chinese Americans, which have been ramping up under Trump and are going to keep doing it. And that is on, frankly, both Democrats and Republicans hands in Congress and in the White House. But uh, Democrats should uh, actually, this would be a great issue to stand up to uh, uh, Republicans on and like push the broader, because we actually do need the, all these things to stop spying on us like this. Push broader, uh, um, but if you save TikTok, I mean, you're going to sell up the, uh, the youth vote. Uh, I mean, <laughs> exceptionally. yeah. I like, mean, don't yeah, count it's, out it's such a slam dunk. They, they, yeah. they, anyone who, any Democrat that's sitting there feeding into this is a moron, an yep. absolute moron.